uh hey what's up um i'm just chilling here with some wet freaking hair um because i wanted to review some of my favorite hair things namely the kristen s s hair brand so my hair is wet right now because a i had to wash my hair it was it was it was time all right just just trust me on that one um but one of the standouts from her brand is this bad boy Ooh, this bad boy right here the hair dryer um and i'm gonna we're gonna get into some things but i'm also gonna cover um her curling wand that probably shouldn't be stored like this but i live my life um as well as some of her products that I am really a fan of um, and I wanted to demo the hot tools for you and yeah so let's get into it oh uh, go ahead and subscribe if you are not already um, I post beauty and lifestyle content and usually my hair does not look like this usually it looks worse um, <laughs> so let's talk about what I've done so far so I have nothing on my hair that is not from the Kristen S line and if you don't know Kristen S um, she is a hairstylist she is uh, a lot of celebrities hairstylists follow her on Instagram I'll link her down below it's just incredible her style is very um, California laid back lived in natural beachy gorgeousness um, but still very polished so I dig that for sure um, and she has a line at Target of affordable hair care. And most of it is amazing. So, um, I wash my hair using the Kristen S Gentle Shampoo. Um, and I just really like the gentle line. My hair is super thick. I have a lot of it. Um, it's wavy-ish. Um, my hair is wavy. Uh, it's prone to tangling, prone to frizz. It's very soft, so I wouldn't say that it's fine or silky. It's just not, uh, it's not as textured as I would imagine most wavy hair is. Um, so based on that, my hair is pretty good. It's virgin, it's healthy, it's, you know, I, I don't do much to it most days. So in terms of heat styling or chemical damage, virtually none. Um, but because it is so thick and heavy, it does have a hard time with styling. So, now that I've caught you up as to what my hair is like, um, I washed my hair, what time is it? It's 11.32, I got out of the shower just after 10 o'clock, put my hair in a terry cloth towel, let me back up. I washed my hair using the Kristen S Gentle Shampoo and the Reconstructive Mask, which I'm gonna link all of this below. None of it is sponsored. None of it is Amazon uh, links, which I get a commission of. So I'm making zero money off of this, in case you're wondering. Um, and if you were really wondering, hey, welcome to my channel, I have not even 50 subscribers. So <laughs> I'm all over the place today. So uh use the gentle shampoo the reconstructive mask rinse that out got out of the shower used her weightless shine leave-in conditioner um brushed through it with her detangling brush while my hair was soaking wet um it, this is meant for that so don't panic be like oh my god don't brush your wet hair do it with this it's amazing um i also have her wide tooth combed um i use this in the shower i use this after the shower and like all the time um yeah so i quickly brushed through my hair just to get any tangles out and then threw my hair up in a microfiber hair turby twist thing um and then i ate some breakfast and whatever and now it's like an hour and a half later so um i am only going to put in one product before i blow dry and it is the style reviving dry conditioner um this is let me read what it says Instantly softening, shine boosting, weightlessly moisturizing, oil and odor absor absorbing, oil and odor absorbing, UV and heat protection. So, obviously my hair is clean. I don't need a dry shampoo sort of thing. This is not a dry shampoo. This you put on your ends, dry shampoo you put on your scalp. This is to kind of help your hair still look soft on day two, three, four, five. 
um, but it does have a heat protectant so I do like it for that and I'm not gonna spray it all through my hair just you know towards the ends where I'm more prone to damage so I'll do that Okay, then we're gonna do one last brush through. All right, so um, I hate blow drying my hair. I hate it, I always have, I always will. Um, other hair dryers have taken me 30, 40 minutes from this point to dry, at which point it doesn't feel worth it. So when I got this hair dryer, I was tentative, but I had just broken a hair dryer and I was like, well, whatever. I think it's like 50 bucks, somewhere in the 50 to 100 range. Um, and I've liked everything that she's done. So I was like, you know what, let me give it a try. I got both of these hot tools for Christmas 2018. So I've had them for over six months. So I have very strong opinions about them and very strong uh, knowledge about them. So uh, when I tried this out the first time, I was amazed because it took like 10 minutes. That's it. Um, that's a big freaking deal for my hair. That's a third, maybe even like a sixth of what it normally takes. So I was pretty proud of that. Um, proud as if I made it, I didn't. But yeah, um, let me walk you through some of the features. Um, it does have a diffuser and a, um, like duckbill nozzle attachment for smoothing. I don't really use those because I just do rough dries with my hair. Like I'm never trying to blow it out or diffuse like I probably should but I just I just can't um it has a cool shot button right here it has a hot warm cool setting right here uh high low off and then it has an ion button and the ion button when it's turned on has like an led in it so when it's turned on you can tell if the ion is on um and I'm not totally sure what ion does I think it helps with like anti-frizz who knows um, but yeah, I like that this little area in the back is a lot smaller than most hair dryers, um, cause it doesn't snag my hair. That's the worst. Um, but you know, when it's really big, that's a lot of surface area to grab my hair, especially when my hair's gone, going all over the place. Um, it has a really nice feel to it. Both of them, the white part is like, it feels like NARS packaging. Like it's slightly rubberized. It's soft. Um, I haven't noticed it collecting a whole lot of stains. Like there's some, but... I think it still looks nice and relatively new. It's got a little bit of makeup on it, but what in this house doesn't? Um, and then I really like the kind of gold, rose gold accent. Um, it looks really pretty with everything else that she has. Just aesthetically, this line is me. I love it. Um, yeah, so let me blow dry my hair for you real fast. Also, the cables are super long. I think these are... Oh, probably nine feet. Yeah, nine or 10 feet. So super long, low. Okay, that was uh, three minutes. Three minutes. Mm -hmm. So my hair was probably 50% dry and now it's probably 98% dry. Um, frizz is minimal. I, uh, I'm, I'm a big fan. Um, it's still a little bit damp under here, but that's gonna dry pretty fast. Um, I should also mention that it's Texas summer, and I think humidity is probably 90% right now, so getting my hair even this dry is a feat. Um, yeah, so it feels good. It feels soft. I'm gonna brush through it really quick. Okay, so let me look up some of the claims from Target. So. This is the Kristen S. Iconic Style Professional Blow Dryer, uh, 1875 watts. It's $100. Um, it says brushless motor technology lasts 10 times longer. I don't really know what that means. 
cutting edge ionic on and off button that one's kind of gimmicky like i don't think it's cutting edge my blow dryer in high school had ionic technology like whatever doesn't quite make sense to me but i'm not that smart um airflow system keeps hair hydrated and healthy ultra lightweight and energy saving i can't really speak to the energy saving but it is very lightweight i think the main takeaway on this dryer is that it's so freaking efficient i've never had a hair dryer work this fast on my hair and when i say my hair is thick i mean like that's half my hair and it's probably two inches it's like the individual strands are thick and there's just so dang much of it i'm gonna try and get my hair cut this week i know i keep saying that but i'm actually gonna do it um i haven't noticed much damage i just have nothing negative to say um a hundred dollars is pretty reasonable for a really nice dryer um i know you can find dryers that are cheaper but in my experience they just have not been as effective and if you're somebody like me who just despises drying your hair it's just the best i just i love it so much i think if you're a professional and you're in a salon i think this would be great it's got the little hooky thing which is nice it doesn't affect my life i just wrap it up and throw it under the sink but i just have nothing else to say about it other than it's perfect while the last bit of hair is drying let me talk you through some of the products that i use from her that i love so obviously the the dry can or what is this leave-in conditioner i love um you have to use it on soaking wet hair so like first thing out of the shower you gotta throw this on if you wait to let it dry let your hair dry it just gets kind of sticky that's not good um but yeah i love it i've probably bought three or four of these um i think i've been using it for like a year i love it i don't think it's the best leave-in conditioner that i've used but i do think it is the best for my hair because the ones that i've used that i like are like garnier fructis or aussie and i feel like those are just less healthy for my hair my hair has just generally been healthier um i just struggle with tangles um, and I wish, even though this is a detangler, I wish she had a detangler that you could use like on dry hair, which this one does. It does detangle dry hair. This is the dry conditioner. Um, but A, I don't love the smell. It's kind of coconutty, which if you love coconut or you're like ambivalent towards coconut, you're going to love this. But I passionately hate the smell of coconut. So this and a couple other things on the line are just not my jam in that regard um but also i feel like kind of like a dry shampoo it does have a slight powderiness to it which is great on um on like greasy hair because it does kind of help to absorb some of the the nasty uh but i just wish there was something here's what it is i need to just go buy those like l'oreal kids detangling sprays um but they're crap for your hair but god they work so good um another one that i love that i don't use nearly enough but i truly stand by this is the hair water um which is basically water and like a little bit of some sort of conditioning agent i think she uses mineral oil uh which i've heard some people say is not good but i have no scientific backing for why mineral oil would be bad um i have used this on husband's hair you know how boys like to dunk their head under the sink to like redo their hair which is fine but this is so much easier and it doesn't like get anything wet and the the spray i don't know if you can see that yeah you can see that it's so good i think it smells good i don't get any coconut smell from that um so that's good but this would be great if you have really curly hair um, and you just want to kind of refresh your curls. It's great if you have like, um, like say you, you're on second day hair and you slept with your hair up and you have that little kink. This would be great to spray on where the kink is to kind of get it to reset to your natural texture and then go back over it with whatever heat toils you want. Um, great for that. Um, I, I think it's really great for curly hair. 
Um, another one that I love is the bubble mask. This is basically a scalp mask. This is basically a scalp mask that um, helps clean your scalp a little bit more, like if you have any like gunk, dry shampoo, whatever. Um, it is exfoliating, it helps with flakes, which I need. Um, it is moisture rebalancing and strand strengthening. So you put like a golf ball size amount, it's kind of like a moussey texture, and then it fizzes in your hair, like kind of like Pop Rocks, and then you leave it on for five minutes, then you shampoo it out. Um, it's great. Uh, I don't think this is like a game changer for dandruff, but I could see how this plus other things in her line would be. Um, she also has another scalp mask that's like grittier. Uh, I have not tried that one. It's on my list, but I could see how using these two like together would be bomb. My, my thought process on most of these products is that they're so cheap and for the price point, what they are is amazing. Um, so like if you're curious about this, I think it's like, I don't think anything in her line is over $14. So this is probably like 11 or 12. Why not, you know? Compare that to like Way or Orbe or any of those really expensive ones. Pfft, not even. Um, this is one that I do not like. Like I am not, I think I used this twice and it's still totally full. This is the Sea Salt Air Dry Spray. Now. It says for straight or wavy hair types, instant texture, volume, non-drying, soft matte finish, mineral enriched. Um, and it it says scrunch your hair as it dries to encourage any wave pattern. Uh, I do not like this. It is the stickiest sea salt spray I've ever used. I think maybe if you have really straight hair, really fine hair, really silky hair, maybe this would be good for you, but I just cannot stand that sticky gritty texture in my hair like especially fresh clean hair I don't want to have clean hair and then spray literal slime into my hair Ugh, this one just made me so sad and it says no salty crunchy chalky texture just satin grit that stays touchable and soft I fully disagree so maybe I'm using this wrong <sighs> help a girl out because it sounds great like I have wavy hair sea salt sprays are great for when I just want to rock my natural texture and let it air dry, that's exactly what I want. But this makes me want to wash my hair immediately. It's so crunchy. Ugh, I just hate it. I hate it so much. Maybe I'm using too much. I don't know, but I feel like any amount is just too much. Like, ugh, ugh, ugh. It's even like it left goop on the nozzle. I just, mm. nope, not for me. It smells all right. Um, one of the other scalp things that I love, this is my second one and I'm ready to get a new one. This is the Kristen S Anytime Anywhere Scalp and Hair Milk Oil. Um, and this is like a biphase solution of hair milk and hair oil. Um, and you can use it anytime, anywhere. It's great for like, if I wanted to just rock this hair all day, I could throw some of this in my hands, use it as a serum, help calm down some of the frizz. Um... What I typically use this for is when I'm doing a hair mask, and y'all saw this in my gist video, um, I will put this all over my scalp, maybe through my ends. Um, I also really like her recovery balm, which is in the other room, but it's like a balm, like it's in a, a big lip balm form. And I put that on my ends, this on my scalp, and then like another mask through the lengths of my hair. Oh my God, my hair has never been so soft. This is incredible. Another one of those coconut scents, Ugh. It smells good. I just, that coconut just hits me and makes me passionately angry. Um, but I, I do love it. I love everything about that product. I love how it looks. Oh, it's so pretty. It's just so good. Like, I love you. I wish you had a different scent. It just works. Um, some other things. I have the dry finish working uh, texture spray. This is good. Again, I don't really like the feel of product in my hair, so this is not exactly for me. This does have good hold to it, though. Um, um, I say this can has lasted me probably nine months, maybe a little bit less. 
and I'm like halfway through. Granted, I don't use it all the time, but when I do use it, you don't need very much. So that's really good. I think this is a good dupe for the um, Orbe dry spun texture, whatever. I've not used that one, but that's what I've heard. And then this is the Soft Shine Beach Wave Spray. Um, I like this one way better than this one. Um, this one says to basically like you already style your hair, whatever. And then um, you spray this in to get a little bit more texture. So these two to me are pretty similar. I'll use this one a little bit closer to the roots to get volume if I need it. Uh, generally, I don't need volume because boom, volume. Um, it's just a lot of hair. Um, it does have a, a hold to it. This one does not. This one's a little bit more for separating the ends and getting that beachy texture. Um, okay, and then lastly, I have the, oh, I have the hairspray. Um, which this is like super hold. It says medium hold. I fully disagree. It is very strong hold. Um, it is brushable. It is layerable. Um, but it's got, if you use too much, it's going to have some crunch. Um, so it's fine. I'm not, I don't use hairspray that often, but when I do, I really like this one. This one and the tray two are my go-tos. Um, and then the other thing that I don't have but I have used is her dry shampoo it's fine it's not as like chalky in my hair as the Batiste but I feel like Batiste works better for my hair so whatever and Batiste is a little bit cheaper um but it's good I I definitely would recommend it it's just not my number one favorite it's maybe my number two um yeah so now let's talk about the curling wand um, again, it has a super long cord. I think it's another nine footer. Um, I believe this one, let's look it up. Okay, so this is the Soft Wave Pivoting Wand Curling Iron, one and a quarter inch. It is $60. Um, it's available online. It's also available in store. Oh, it's just unavailable in my store right now. Um, oh, okay, so the number one thing about this is that it rotates boom um this is really great for getting your back pieces that looks like terrible please don't curl your hair like that um but just being able to get back there without having to like angle your whole arm um you can just boop 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 boop, boop. um it's great to get those horizontal curls i'm not an expert at curling my hair so i don't totally know why you want it horizontal it's not plugged in by the way if you're wondering why i'm not burning myself um i'm not magic so it says titanium barrel delivers heat faster ionic technology boosts shine even heat for more consistent waves that's very true for digital settings up to 425 degrees um it's great let's see so a wand is better for uh fuller more voluminous waves and curls fully agree um uh, less stress, automatic shut off after 30 minutes of non-use, and a 9-foot swivel cord. Um, it's really good. Another two-year warranty. I like it. Um, one thing that I really like that I didn't notice, well, A, it has this tip, which makes the rotating really easy, even when it's turned on, because this part doesn't heat up. Um, but it also has this little black rubberized portion right there. Um, so that you can rest it on a table and it hits that black part before it hits this. So it's resting on the, the you know, the non-hot parts, um, which is good. I didn't know that at first. I was resting it on a towel and then I saw that and I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, that's good. She thought about it. Um, same kind of feel as the hairdryer. Feels really nice. I love the rose gold. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful iron. Um got a little power button right there and then it just goes up it shows you the temperature I don't have it turned on right now the one thing that I do not like about this design is that the on button is like built in it's not like a switch and it's the only button that there is um, so there have been times when I'm holding it and I'm curling my hair and I'm death gripping it because how do you curl your hair without a death grip and my finger turns it off and then I'm like why is it not curling what's going on it's been off for five, ten minutes and completely cooled down. So that's a real bummer. Um, I've heard that on the next uh, version of this, she will fix that. 
I think even if it was like down here, I think that would be helpful. Just, you know, somewhere that's not directly where I hold it, especially when it's twisted. Like the process of twisting kind of makes you need to death grip on it. And I can see it easily, like it's exactly where my finger would be. So um, I'm gonna plug this in and curl my hair and speed up that footage. And then we'll talk about it. probably 40 minutes um part of the problem with that is that this auto shuts off after 30 minutes so it turned off on my last layer that was a real bummer um but I don't want to do anything with it yet but curls are still cooling um but overall like I like how PC it looks um this side's cool so I can do that um, it's definitely not like a curly curl, it's definitely beachier, wavier, whatever, which I think is more in style right now, it's definitely trendier. Um, overall, I do like this iron. Let me start off by saying that. 
I think with my hair this long, it's not uh, time efficient for me. I feel like I can go a lot faster with a traditional um, curling iron with a clamp, specifically my old Hot Tools iron that died and I had to throw it away. So I think I might upgrade to her um, one inch curling iron with a clamp next. Um, but I do like this guy. My best friend loves this thing. Like every time she comes over, she curls her hair. Um, Adriana, I'm calling you out. I love that you love it. Um, and I do like it. It just gives a different vibe than what I typically go for. Um, I feel like my hair won't hold this curl as long as it will with a clamp. Um, so I think overall it just kind of depends on what your style is, what you're looking for. Um, I have this lighting kind of weird. So overall, I think it depends on what you're looking for, what your style is, what hair type you have, um, et cetera, et cetera. But I think for the price, for $60, I think this is ugh, a super cool feature. Um, I look forward to having the new version that doesn't turn off with this thing because I did hit that a couple times and I changed the heat setting and it doesn't make a sound like if it beeped when I did that like a boop then I'd be like oh okay cool let me fix that but I didn't notice it I just felt it and was like oh let me fix that but there have been plenty of times that I didn't feel it and I don't know that I'm trying to curl my thick esque hair on 200 degrees like my hair just won't I need high heat I need 450 I wish this went up a little bit higher it only goes up to 425 I wish it went up to like 450 475 um but again that's just my hair I think if your hair is color treated or more damaged than this you will have a much easier time uh getting a curl to stay so yeah overall I think it does look great uh I really, I really like the effect. My hair's super shiny. It's really soft. It's really touchable. It's, it's good. I like it. Buy it. Okay. Um, so overall, Kristen S. Line, highly recommend. I want to say 10 out of 10. I'm going to say 9 out of 10 because I really hate that air dry spray. <laughs> this thing is my nemesis. If you want it, come get it. But it's not for me. Um, yeah, I like this. It's good. My top favorites, the blow dryer. And probably this brush, honestly. <laughs> I love this brush so much. I'm not going to show you this side because it... I get like floofies in my hair and then they get stuck in my brush and it's just not cute. See, I don't, it's not cute. But um, overall this brush is beautiful. It's rose gold. It feels nice. It's not super heavy, but it's also not super light and plasticky feeling even though it is plastic. Um, so those are my top two favorites. But I have so many other favorites too. Can I just pick all of my favorites? All right, I'm not gonna talk anymore. This video is gonna be really long and take me a million years to edit. Um, so yeah, let me know what your favorites from her line are. Um, follow her on Instagram. What is your favorite hair tool at the moment? Let me know. Um, let me know what you think of this hair. Should I, ooh, that's what I want you to tell me. 
how should I cut my hair? I'm gonna do it this week, probably before I post this video, but uh, I'm thinking like collarbone, you know, like my, I feel like that's Emily hair length. So let me know what I should do um, for really thick hair to make it more manageable. Um, yeah, so subscribe, thumbs up, bell for notifications, comment how I should do my hair, what your favorites from this line are, and I will see you guys on Friday. Bye!